There. Joined now by the skipper Paul McCone. This is our last ever Thursday interview this season. Yeah, it's uh, been a bit different this year to the uh, previous season. That's a, a definite, but for the right reasons. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, up until a few weeks ago, we were we were right up there. A couple of not so great performances at home uh, against um, Redditch and um, Bromsgrove last week have. Uh, dented our hopes basically and it just means we've got to go to Royston and get a three points. Yeah, a little bit unlike us. Um, the previous however many games we've played here, I think we've got one of the better home records in the league so uh, yeah, a bit of a anomaly those last two but they've definitely uh, put us in the hands of the gods rather than in our own hands which until two games ago it was all in our hands but um, yeah, we, it, there's still possibilities but we still got to go and do our job, which is turn up at Royston and win. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, it's a it's a grass pitch. It's got a little bit of slope on it and stuff like you know. Shouldn't be as boggy as it usually is, but um, you know, if we go out there and play some football, we you know shoot at the goal, score some goals, we're gonna win, aren't we? I tell you what, it's so simple. Isn't it? It's so simple. But no, it is. Football is simple. We just complicate things a little bit, don't we? But no, we. Uh, the, the only thing I know with Royston is the pitch is normally a leveller. Yeah. Um, so as much as we like to get it down and play a little bit, but the pitch is definitely uh, not going to be the greatest. It definitely is going to be like here, but we have to adapt to that. Going there, I've played there a few times, we know what it's like. They're a tough team, uh, they always have been, um, but even though it's the last game of the season, we will still be going with the same mentality, the same uh, whatever we need to do to get our three points we put on, uh, in front of us. And, Hopefully we can take out that game plan. I mean, our dip in form. I mean, we can't put it all down to to Callum getting injured, can we? Yes, he's got twenty three goals for us, but you know, there's still eleven players on that pitch when we start a game, isn't it? Hundred percent, hundred percent. We we probably need to adapt how we would have played because Andre and Callum are completely different players. Um, so that's probably what we've uh, dipped with a little bit. Um, but no, Andre is still a top player. We just need to play to his strengths at the moment we're not and that's possibly why we're not getting the uh, the results that we need to absolutely but one player who scored two goals in the last couple of games is Terrell he's come on and made an impact as we as we chatted off air comes on changes the game um, that's what you want from a sort of player coming off the bench don't you he, uh, he's lightning quick um, he's done it since the, the first game we played here when he come on he, he, he tore someone quite a lot down the uh, the right hand side and yeah he comes on and changes the game it's an injection of pace um, and makes us play a slightly different way he does possibly put him behind a little bit more um, whereas Andre will want the ball to feed but e either way we um, we know those two results of uh, not cost us because we still don't know what might happen but they've definitely put us uh, out of our own uh, hands yep so you've got one game to go definite possibly three and um then after May, May bank holiday, um, what do you do for the next six weeks? Have you have you got to uh, plans with the kids and stuff? You go out on holiday? Uh, sort of. Uh, means work goes a bit more mad. Um, now the light bulbs are coming in. You just work till it goes dark now. So uh, yeah, can uh, crack on with that a little bit. But no, yeah, spend a bit of time with the family. Go away. Um, yeah, they enjoy the off season as much as they've enjoyed coming here this year. They followed me home and away. Um, they'll be there at Royston on um, Saturday, so uh, it, it's been not easier, that's the wrong word to say, but it's been good this year having them so invested in the uh, football, um, they're probably a bit of an age now, my uh, kids, where they can understand it a bit more, I, I still don't think they're really too bothered, yeah. they just want to, I think Freddie just wants to run on the pitch at the end of the game to be honest, but it's nice to have them invested and this place is just perfect for them and that's why I, I enjoy it so much here. Okay, so plans for next year are, you know, is it is it in the offing? Last year you signed really quickly, didn't you? Yeah, it's probably before now to be fair. Yeah. But I've always said to you, you know me, I'm happy, the club's happy, Gav's happy, carry on, makes no difference to me. I, I like to get things done nice and early. I don't want to go away in the summer with a headache. Yeah. So we like to get things done early, but as long as everybody's happy, then there's definitely no reason why not. Maka, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much.